Hello my friends, John LaRuffy here with another Unbiased Unboxing. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at Ahau, Rulers of Yucatan. I hope I said that right, but if I didn't, I don't know what to say. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. And we'll also look at the expansion too. I got them together at my flags. Um, and they, I think, kickstarted them, which is how it came to be. All right, let's take a look. Okay, and as usual, folks, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done already. And if you have, I do appreciate that support. Thank you. All right, so getting into this, I will say one thing. I already know from looking at some people's situations and such that the expansion pack that was delivered via the Kickstarter, which I'm sure this one is too, does not contain the buildings, but it should, and they're going to rectify that somehow. So I'm not exactly sure how that somehow is. I'm sure they'll still somehow send them out to everybody, but we'll figure out how that goes. All right, now the back of the box is what I love to see in a back of a Euro game. You, you just look at this and it looks enticing. You can see all the components. You can look at the board, it's very colorful. You get the description and such of what's going on, the information, but it's not like you're only seeing, you know, a part of this. Obviously you're not seeing the full board, but it's enough where you blend the artwork, the, the information and what you get. So I like that, thank you. That is good news. All right, let's take a look here. Okay, a little bit more of a rigid box, which is kind of interesting. I don't know why it feels that way, but it just feels a little more rigid. Inside though, nothing's going on. Oh, the rule book got folded. That's all right, I guess. It's just a rule. Actually, what is this? This is the background, I guess you could say. It's a background book. So this shows you some of the information about the region and the regions, I guess, and some information about the whole thing. So that's kind of cool. For those who want more information, you can get it that way. All right. Now, rule book itself, I did glance through this, and it looks like um, it does have a good amount of examples, um, a good amount of figures, but it's got kind of small text, so it is. it, it does look like you're going to be at this for a little bit trying to read it, because there's, well, I, I do appreciate the examples and the figures and such. I don't think it's going to be a quick read because there seems to be a decent amount of information to cover. All right, so then you get all this information about the tiles themselves and then about the shadow player mode and then also the solo mode, which of course I wouldn't have it if it wasn't, didn't have such a thing. All right. So 24 pages, but I do like the fact at the back they have the game summary that tells you kind of what's going on, the god powers, all that stuff. So that's cool. I appreciate that. Now let's take a look at this nice looking board. Okay. So here we have a two-sided board. This looks like the three and four player side over here. And my guess is this is the one, the two and three side over here. So my guess is this maybe tightens things up a little bit. And I'm sure you probably play on this side with the solo mode. But it's definitely an interesting, good looking board. I do like that. These are, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, very thin chits here, I'd say. Um, I'd say on the thin side, not very thin, but definitely thin. You can see they're already popping out. So they're coming out pretty easy there. And some of these did come loose in the box itself. So hopefully they all came loose during transit and not during packing. And I'm not missing anything besides what I already said. I knew I was going to be missing at the time. So it looks as though I, like I've got everything here. It's kind of a mess, to be honest, in the box. So they probably could have packed that a little better. Um, these... Player aids, which are good, were kind of floating in there. And here's some stickers. I'm not sure exactly where those go at the moment. 
Um, and then these were kind of, yeah. So I don't know, it got a little bit shook up in transit. Hopefully nothing got too damaged. Looks like we have a light in the dark side here. Don't know if there is a difference or maybe one's for the solo and one's for not. Um, each of these looks like they may have a little bit of a different something on them. Yeah, there, there seems to be some subtle differences here. Am I right about that? I'm wrong about that. Um, this one is the Solo, so I can see that. That must be for the bot. Um, so that's why I saw the two differences. Okay. Now we have a cloth bag. Another two spectacular there, just regular old burlap cloth. Whole bunch of baggies, which is important. Tons of them. I appreciate them putting those in there. We've got some standees and looks like a, you know, a clear disc, probably a round marker or something of that nature, but with some in there. All right, and then we have a bunch of little wooden components. We've got a bunch of little wooden meeples here and then some smaller resource wooden things, which I appreciate that. Hopefully they're not too difficult to pick up and move around. Glad well, we got something to absorb the moisture. And then the deck of cards. This deck of cards looks like it's a taller, maybe Euro format of cards um, from a sleeve standpoint. We shall see. Well, I won't be able to identify it on the channel, but it's definitely not the standard, you know, Magic the Gathering size or anything like that. <clears throat> and it seems to be too tall um, to be the U.S. standard either, I believe. Okay, so I know that this, these right here are the priority cards for the different solo modes. Um, so that's that. I'm not sure what that relates to. And then all of these should be, there should be upgrade cards based on um, you upgrading your deck with different things. And then each of these will have cards that will determine your region and your attack strength here in the different colors for the players. All right, now these cards themselves, they're okay, they're about medium thickness. Um, they have a little texture on them. I don't know if you'll need to sleeve them or not. I will, of course, but I, it's not like they're super thin. Okay, box-wise, that empties it out, and I don't see anything over there, and I'm not sure what this is all about. Maybe this is just, oh, this is probably for when you build the pyramids, which I didn't really get to because things were falling out. So these are 3D-looking pyramids that you're going to build up which look cool, and that's probably what that extra space is for. So I'm looking forward to constructing those. Yeah, this stuff is coming out real easy. All right, so that is that. Now, let's take a look at the expansion that I purchased with it. It was attached. And again, I'm, I'm going to guess that I'm going to be missing the building tiles. I didn't give you guys a good look at the building tiles. They're all falling out. But here's all the different building tiles. The artwork does look really cool. Um, I like that they're colorful. Uh, they, they are easier to read, but I just, I, I like the overall color scheme of this game. It looks pleasant and nice, and uh, that's cool. Appreciate that. All right. Now, digging into this. <clears throat> Maybe. All right. So opening it up. We have in here... The rule book. So this is going to give us some information on what you're getting here. So extra rule cards. It's kind of a strange way to lay it out. Okay, there we go. So the components, kind of what they do, extra event cards, and, or the event cards and such, extra rolls and extra buildings. And as you can tell here, looks like I am definitely missing the buildings. So there's, there's no buildings in this copy. They're going to figure out how to do it. I understand no worries. These cards are actually pretty thick. So these, if you don't have sleeves that are this large, I think you'll be okay. They do feel nice. They do have nice, um, really nice artwork. Really nice artwork here. And then what looks like more solo cards, perhaps. Yep, a couple more solo cards. And then a few more different leader cards here of different types. And then more... I don't know exactly what those represent because they're different than these so i have to figure that out anyway that's the size of it about the size of it 
Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate everybody. Whatever you decide to do in the future, really hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Take it easy now.